And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Aphelios is the name of the deck because those are the champions, but really this is a Kyrian Sumpworks deck to the max. All right, so Kyrian Sumpworks is an amazing new two mana unit from Piltover and Zaun that your first one is just going to be a 1-2 elusive, but whenever you play your second Kyrian Sumpworks, then you transform all of your uh, Kyrian Sumpworks everywhere into the Sumpworks posses, and so you know, you'll, you'll have a Sumpworks Posse, and then at any other Kyrian Sumpworks you'd have after that would be the Sumpworks Posse, which is just basically another champion. Really, really good card. All right, so we're going to want to grab those. Okay, so first we have counterfeit copies, so we can put more Kyrian Sumpworkers in our deck, because usually we only have three, so let's get more of them in the deck. So that's first. Second, um, we have Gifts from Beyond that will be able to create the Moon Weapon, our moon weapon, weapon being Crescendum, because we can summon a two cost follower from our deck into play with the Crescendum. And of course, our two cost follower is going to be Kyrian at Um, And then we also, of course, have Iterative Improvement. Obviously, you always play that with Sump Worker to be able to copy it. Aphelios is going to be our champion that, of course, will make moon weapons and our moon weapon Crescendum. Go find more um, Sump Workers, put them in, into play. And then we'll even have Shady Character. That once we have the posse, Shady Character, we can play this, pick the posse, transform me a copy into it. Um, so this looks really cool. So, you know, we, we are going to be going all out of creating all of the Sumpworks posses. Of course, we're going to be using uh, creative cards and everything. So we got Victor uh, that we can level up. Uh, Victor, and then our creative cards will cost one less also. But Victor just does all the cool Victor stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, some other good Targon stuff for the... Uh, for the end game but yeah that's that's the that's the deck that's the goal of our deck let's win some games with sump worker posse so this deck was from jack jack made this deck and i think it looks really good um let's give it a try we're gonna go play our five games in ranked here we go all right the tough matchup Okay, we got our first sump worker. We're gonna keep that. Um, I'm not. I guess we keep Mystic Shot, right? Because they just have a bunch of things that we want to Mystic Shot. So yeah, I guess we gotta keep it. But I want to find more sump workers. Okay, we got a second sump worker, and then we also even have a shady character to be able to copy them. And it gives from beyond to find another. So I could go turn two Sump Worker, turn three Sump Worker plus Mystic Shot, and then turn four Shady Character. I think that's the plan. I don't think they'll just be able to kill my Sump Worker. You know, like their deck is not playing like a ton of removal. I don't think they will just be able to kill this. Um, I just won't attack. They have what, the plus three plus one card? So I'll slow them down, which is just what we want, because, you know, we're just going to try to be faster than they are, so we're just trying to slow them down. Yeah, I'm not sure why they made the Shady character a, a skill, unlike all the other cards that are like this, that none of them are skills. I don't know why this one, like, they chose this card to be a skill. And we're gonna block because whenever we play the other sump worker, this one gets obliterated anyway. So being a one-one, getting obliterated, you know, doesn't no difference between a one-one and a one-two being obliterated. So they could have homecoming. I go shady care. Yeah, they could just have homecoming.
Like, I can't really, like, I couldn't pass. Like, if I pass, they just also pass, and they're happy about that. How'd you do that? I'm surprised they played the sparring student, though. That doesn't make any sense to me, why they played the sparring student right here. Why they didn't just pass. Yes, they're just letting me kill the sparring student. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so either copy the posse or go grab, like, the Calibrum and just kill this Greenglade duo right now. So we save that six damage. Mm. The posse could just block, though. <laughs> Let's go get... I would like to rummage away the jury rig and block the jury rig, but oh well, we can do that later. Yeah, we could have also shady charactered here and take, but you know, like we're looking at taking like a lot more damage if I do that. Okay. I was thinking kill this so they couldn't homecoming it. They have their one interaction spell. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, well, they're down to four. The three cards left. Heal our Nexus. Star shaping. You need not follow, but you will witness. Yeah, shady character shouldn't be a skill. So I'm probably just gonna iterative improvement the posse. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need to Ophelios. Um, let's see, we block there, block there.
Again, if they they just ha I can't really just open attack because of homecoming. Steady your heart. Your Dang. I should have played a Felios last round and gotten life steal and gave it to one of these. Like if I just go star shaping. They could have another one of those plus three plus ones to kill me. Really close. Okay. Prediction started. Alright, we got the same matchup again. The homecoming when I had the shady character, that was uh, that was a big part of us. A big part of that game being pr pretty close. I'm gonna keep this jury rig. I think they're gonna go turn one sparring student attack. Uh, turn one Doom Keeper attack. I actually don't, Vulgar, no. I just play Legends of Runeterra. Like so I took the Messenger to help look for... You know, just help dig into the deck. Okay, so we can go get a Kyrian out with the Gifts from Beyond, and then we have Iterative Improvement as well. Play this as a blocker. Okay. Saved a life by playing that. The plus one plus one um, from the improvements are really important against the conspirator. What's like the standard number of retreat and lead to follow that they play? Is it three and three? Is it six total copies of those cards? If I shady character, will it will it be a five three also? I guess it would, wouldn't it? I, was just casually I think so, right? Yeah, exact copy. And so right now they don't have homecoming, so that's a big reason why I want to play the shady character right now while they while they don't have homecoming. Alright, Messenger or Trickster? I don't care about the Moonglow. Trickster gives me, you know, just another elusive attacker. Um, but next round we're going to be having 6 mana, so like I'd have enough mana for Messenger plus Shady character. Or Messenger plus Gifts from Beyond Moon Weapon. 
but not Trickster. So I think I'm going to take Messenger to kind of, you know, because we want to just find like our star shapings and stuff like that to help us stay alive. And so we can play Messenger plus. I guess I could play Trickster plus Gifts from Beyond. Yeah, I guess I could play Trickster plus Gifts from Beyond. Not Shady Character, but Gifts from Beyond. Because I have the one extra mana for Gifts from Beyond. Can I paint you? Oh, you're interesting. Ancient preparations. Yeah, I wonder if they have homecoming. Oh, I love the mystic shot. So many of these recall cards all the time, always. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so many of those. So much lost. I don't know if I've ever played against this deck where they don't have multiple of those cards. Counterfeit copies the posse. How'd you do that? So they have a droplet, an Aurelia, and something else. Thankfully, the, the Aurelia is at 9 out of 12, so like an Aurelia with the lead and follow doesn't. Uh, doesn't level up Aurelia yet. No They're obviously going to be doing some attacking, they have to. I don't really know why the 2 2 isn't attacking, like why this ancient preparations thing's not attacking. I don't, I don't know why that's not. Okay, we got our Sump Works Posse. They're all here. Get him, Posse. There we go. All right, we're 2 and 0 against against Aurelia Azir. Sumpworks Posse card can be really powerful. 
2-0. Oh. Diana Nocturne. We got some Nightfall. Okay, this will be interesting. You're mulliganed, you're mulliganed. And I will keep these two. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Didn't give me much time. see playing getting equinox for like their four one fearsomes or five three or something like that i also kind of want to just get moon silver oh, yeah. i just want to get moon silver and speed me up a little bit That thing's gonna hit me and make a gem. If I do not copies, then I can have the sump worker in next round. But if I do copies, I won't have the mana too. But you know, like I can sump worker gifts from beyond, get another sump worker if I do not copies. So is it worth having the posse next round attacking? Or do I set up a longer game and play the copies? Probably have to play this copies. Yeah, I guess I gotta play the copies. Lunari, rise. Can I paint you? We'll go with the original plan of Victor on three. Lifesteal Victor. And then we'll surprise them next round when we're attacking with some sump workers they're not expecting. Alright, so they have Pale Cascade, of course. So I have 9 mana, 2, 4, 8, so that's 10. 10 total mana for all of these. I don't know if it gets better for me. But, alright, let's see if we can get Victor, like, you know, tough. Something like that. Okay, Elusive. Now we're talking. Now Elusive Lifesteal. Now we're talking. Ingenious. Okay, so it's so that's four, five, six, seven. So I do get to play counterfeit copies also. Regen. Are you kidding me? The flight to block? Because then that also just blocks with like with my sump worker. I guess I could get a different moon weapon. I could get like plus two, plus one in overwhelm. I think we're going to have to go plus two, plus one, and overwhelm. Well, let's see. So shady character plus sump worker just doesn't work, does it? Unless you had to have the posse first. Shady character or sump worker doesn't work. But we could always draw into posse. Yeah, I just, I just have to do this. You hate it, but you got to do what you got to do.
All right, what am I doing? Of course they're going to do that. And now still Pearl Cascade kills this. I should have grabbed Stun. Or the plus one, plus two. But, man, this game... Yeah, obviously they're just going to do that. So we played two counterfeit copies on Sump Workers. We really need to draw another Sump Worker. We have multiple Sump Workers next round with all these three twos. Were they just bluffing Pill Cascade? Were they just bluffing Pill Cascade? Everything half fearsome? No, they've attacked with zero so far. They're only going to attack with two, so no, things are not going to have fearsome. So let's get another blocker out here. If I, if I go Shady Character and get another Sump Worker into play, then if I play a third Sump Worker, I guess it would obliterate the first two. It would obliterate both of them, so the Shady Character just doesn't make any sense to play. And we can't we can't even cast the Hex Core upgrade with, with our one mana to just play a Creative Card. Ugh, these Jury Rigs. I'm sure I went wrong somewhere with this game. Probably just just going, just playing turn three Victor instead of going after Sump Workers on turn three. But man, those Mountain Goats were so good. Those Mountain Goats won that game for my opponent. I agree. I think I probably should have gone for the try to get the workers in play instead of turn three Victor. Victor just wasn't the blocker that I thought it was going to be. His three twos were, were really nice. Counterfeit copies and jury rig, like, like that's kind of the problem. Like that game also showed the problem playing counterfeit copies and jury rig. We had four, you know, two counterfeit copies, two jury rigs, and all like all four of those cards did absolutely nothing. And so it's like four blank cards. I guess a jury rig chump blocked once, but that's the problem with putting these kind of cards in your deck is like when they don't work, it looks really bad. Okay, um, this is going to be a tricky one to win, tricky matchup to win. Yeah, this is a bad matchup for us, I, I could definitely see that being the case. Because they, they just have, they are just so good with removal. It's, it's going to be really difficult to... Uh, get this Kyrian Sump Worker online. Once I stand papers, now faces. Safety disengage. Temperamental as moonlight. It's not necessarily a bad, like, Calibrum spot. Like, Ballistic Bot with the created cards and everything is pretty rough. Sorry. Don't make it too obvious. Can you improve perfection? A ticket to the gun show! I have six mana. I have the best job. I 
Unless they have one mana deal too. Which I'm not expecting. But still, like, these sump workers are just going to be four twos. And it's not that difficult for them to just kill a bunch of four twos. We really need, like, some card draw, some card advantage. And I guess that's why I shouldn't... Um, I guess that's why I shouldn't keep the counterfeit copies, because they're just card disadvantage. So we could we could really use more Ophelios. More Ophelios, star shaping. I think I'll just attack immediately. So I play like a crescendo, and obviously they just kill one of the posses anyway, and like best case scenario we attack with one posse, but worst case scenario they kill both posses before they can attack. Don't blink or you'll miss me. Draven still did its job. Dealt some damage, made multiple cards to discard to rummage away. Why do we keep drawing Jury Rig? I could definitely see getting rid of Jury Rig. I'm not happy with these Jury Rigs at all. play like static shock or no oh they're this play is probably just uh, spinning i guess that this play is spinning x but i have to block because otherwise they create the free mystic shot that kills my posse anyway They had to use Thermogenic Beam last round. Maybe they don't have the removal that I'm expecting them to have. Yeah, you can pitch... So they have some stun. Yeah, we have a few things to discard Jury Rig, but... Elios is perfect. Captain Farron's always the scariest card. Hopefully they don't drop Captain Farron. Like they're gonna be able to attack before I can stun. Get another crescendum. You leave me no recourse. 
So we go down to five. And we open attack and try to win. Yeah, I mean, these all these all block. I mean, we could go down to six if I make this block instead. Um, you know, there is a difference between five and six. Of course, like, Mystic Shot plus Get Excited kills me at five. Six, it's a lot harder. Like, Get Excited, Get Excited. Um... Yeah, because I guess if we don't, if the open attack doesn't kill them, we're dead to decimates anyway. So might as well just go to six, right? Because it's not like it's not like this is gonna save me anyway. This is crazy though, having all these Sunworks posses that we made with all these counterfeit copies. This is pretty crazy. All right, did it. Yeah, so Gravitum, I couldn't, because they would get to, they attacked immediately after I made it, so Gravitum couldn't stun that. Okay, another Azir deck with Darius. There's our Spacey Sketcher. Of course, we can discard the dust that Duskbringer creates. Also, the desert by my side. They forced us to choose death or the. Yeah, deck's definitely doing well. Azir's command. You leave me no recourse. Like a little cleaning up on the edges. Like I said, I'm not happy with the jury rigs. Uh, we also have Poro Cannon in here, which I'm glad we've never really drawn Poro Cannon, but... I'm not super sold on Victor right now. But the whole... The whole Sump Worker, Aphelios, Gifts from Beyond, Iterative Improvement, maybe even Shady Character, that's all been really good. And that's a that's a really good uh, package and everything that really shows the the power of Sump Worker. I like all, all that. Okay, the Portal Cannon has been a great card for you. I don't really need to trade that one. Hmm. We love it when they run. I don't expect them to pass, but if they do, we'll get our legs in. Yep, that's a smart challenge. <laughs> it's risky playing this thing right now. We'll see if it pays off. It may not. <laughs> Okay, maybe not. Against the aggro deck, just got in play. Regen. Jury rig. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Still paint is just accidental art. Alright, so obviously this is blocking here. Considering just going Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, killing the, both the three twos, they just have two cards left. Then I'd I'd be j with just two cards left. Also, would be down to ten. Not a great spot for me. It's 
We're down to eight. Yeah, I could definitely see a progress day being in here. That's a possibility, like a one of. Merciless Hunter is a great card. Those two Merciless Hunters really did a lot of work. Steel. The world in a grain of sand. A desert to bury our food. Life steel. <laughs> Challenger. Wrap them up tight. Can I paint you? Dang. GG's. Merciless Hunter. Car won that game. 4 3 Fearsome. Why does that thing have to have Fearsome? That just didn't have Fearsome. We could have blocked it with 1 1s. Not taking so much damage earlier. All right, so there we go. That was, um, you know, Jack Stack here. Victor Aphelios definitely looked really good. Sump Worker looked great. I loved having Sump Worker improvement, gifts from, from beyond to go put Sump Worker into play. All that looked great. Um, we talked about, like, the counterfeit copies are card disadvantage, so probably having some more card advantage would be kind of nice in this deck because we were running out of cards uh, quite a bit. I don't know about Victor. I don't know if Victor is really necessary. I don't know if Victor really did that much for us, to be honest. Um, like, if Victor is Zoe, is that better? Probably. Like, Zoe's just a lot better card than Victor. Um, I could see that. I could also see Victor being by to just be a better blocker and better card to control the board, especially, like, you know, on the ground, right? Because this metagame's so aggressive, but, you know, like, you want, like, those blockers to and everything. But I think I think that just if, if it's Zoe, you know, Zoe could create the super cool star charts that could get you some blockers um, and make your spacey sketch a little better. Uh and, you know, maybe we don't have to play Jury Rig. And uh, we could play something a little bit better than that. Maybe a little bit more interaction. Um, but the 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 meat of the deck, Aphelios, Gifts from Beyond, Sump Worker, Improvement, really, really impressed with all that together. Even Shady Character works. Um, you know, it's... It can't, you can't get blown out by it. Like we, we saw, like if you try to shady character and target your sump worker and they, they get rid of your sump worker in response, you know, like you can definitely get blown out by it. So you really have to wait and try to find an opening where you're able to do it. But if you're able to do it, then it works. Um, but yeah, I liked it. I liked it. I think there's some, you know, like that's, that was some really good stuff there. That was, that was a lot of power. Um, this, this deck really showed off the power of having this for a champion. The Sump Works Posse. It, it plays as powerful as a champion. That's for sure. Maybe like some maybe like some Pale Cascades in here to help protect Sump Worker and that could get you some card draw. Um, maybe a card yeah, maybe a card like Pale Cascade that just protects it from Mystic Shot. That may not be bad. I could see that. Get some Solari Priestess in here, because that card's always great. Yeah, I could I, I think there's something here. I think, you know, uh, like I said, I I, I wasn't Real impressed with all the cards around the edges, but yeah, this this definitely looked great. All right, so there we go, three two record, in ranked, really good. 
There was some Kyrian Sumpworks Victor Aphelios. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit the like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think about the Kyrian Sumpworks. We got other ideas for it. This is definitely the best Kyrian Sumpworks deck that we have played so far. That's for sure. Maximum Sumpworks in this deck. But yeah, leave those leave those comments. Let me know what else you're doing with the card. Um, I feel like it's it's a great card. All right, but thank you so much for watching. Some Victor Aphelios, and I will see you for the next video.